I've been really excited to get into these colonies. The girls are all flying this time of year. I try not to bug them that much because I know that they are really preparing, packing in the pollen, trying to find nectar and getting ready for winter. But I just couldn't help myself. It's too warm and too beautiful and I miss seeing my girls. It is an absolute beautiful October day here in Virginia and we're gonna go ahead and start getting into some of our colonies get them ready for winter I'm a little just a little bit late to the game but that's okay because we're out here and all the bees are flying I've got some quilt boxes that I'm gonna put on the hives and we're also gonna go ahead and switch the entrance reducers this time of year I am looking at their stores I'm seeing how much honey they have and their colony size if I need to make a decision to combine a colony this is about the time that I make that decision and by the looks of it I would say this colony is queen right you can see right here in the center that is all brood. I also do check the brood, make sure that there's no pinholes, nothing that I need to be alarmed about in regards to uh, Varroa. So, not bad. Glancing for the queen, but again, she's not exactly my top priority to find. Beautiful looking brood. Nice pattern, especially for this time of year. They definitely look nice and healthy for sure. I bet that queen is in the bottom, <laughs> which is just fine. 
I've had a lot of people ask about what this is. This is a hive beetle trap. I noticed this colony on my last inspection had a little bit of hive beetles and you can see it only caught one. Um, the only thing that's inside this is just mineral oil. The, the bees don't mess with it, but the hive beetles, they'll get in it. I'm gonna inspect this frame and then possibly go down and inspect the rest. But looks really nice. They're busy making honey, which is exactly what they need to be doing. Beautiful. This is definitely a good time to harvest any propolis if you guys are planning on making any tinctures with it. I'm actually working on a pretty cool recipe that I cannot wait to share with you guys about propolis and what to do with it and how to use it in a medicinal factor for, for your homestead. So these are the small benefits from the bees that we get to kind of use and not take advantage of, but, but appreciate and use. Pretty amazing little creatures. The one thing about beekeeping is that my camera is typically covered covered in propolis. This is what I'm talking about. See all that? Propolis is what the bees use to seal up the hive. It has a lot of antimicrobial aspects to it that are not only beneficial to the bees but also for us. A lot of new baby bees getting ready to emerge and I see a bunch of brand new eggs which is really good. That is exactly what I want to see. A lot of new eggs. So that means Queenie is working and she is, and there she is. Do you see the queen? You see her rolling? Watch how the bees are all moving out of the way. They're like, okay, we see you. Yes, ma'am. She's very pretty. Very, very pretty. All right, girl, I'm gonna let you go. Let you get back to your colony. You're doing what you need to do. Make beautiful baby bees. That is all I need to see. So now I'm gonna get this colony back together. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the entrance reducer, put the mouse guard on, put a quilt box on, and, and call it. They look good.
So when it was all said and done, we ended up combining a few of our colonies just to make sure that they are gonna see them through the winter. I never like when I have to decide on, on pinching a queen. Um, but sometimes for the greater good of the colony, it needs to be done. So we did have a few colonies that we had to make that decision to. And unfortunately, it's just part of it. It's part of beekeeping. Um, we started with, today's inspection, we started with 21 colonies. I had lost a few, which I did share one with you a few weeks ago. But now we are down, now we are down to 18, 18 colonies after combining. Um, that is pretty good. I am so very happy with that. The rest of the colonies look pretty well. Um, there were a few, like I said, that we ended up combining, but you know what? We'll see. We'll see how they do. We did go ahead and install the quilt boxes, which if you guys are interested in how we make our quilt box, I will put the link above. And then I did go ahead and mix up some sugar bricks, which I will I'll gladly share that video with you as well if you'd like to see how we make our sugar bricks. Thank you guys for taking the time and watching as I do a quick hive inspection. And as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old.